I'm about to scare every mainstream media outlet with one single word. Gamer. That word is the boogeyman to so many outlets. Gaming is a hobby that's been put in the crosshairs of mainstream media for decades now. They treat gaming like the devil, the root of all evil. It takes the blame for everything that goes wrong. If anything bad happens in the world, mainstream media does their absolute best to tie it into gaming in some way. If some guy commits some atrocities, they'll bring up like his Steam account and be like, huh, well this was, we saw all the signs there because he once played Sims 3, so we knew that this was inevitable. This has been a trend that's been going on for a long, long time and shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, it's only speeding up. They're putting more coals in this train and they're driving it right off the fucking tracks here. They're going super hard on attacking gaming for everything that goes wrong in the world. And recently a YouTuber named The Act Man made a great journey through time looking at some of mainstream media's finest pieces on gaming. So I just wanted to share some of their highlight montage here with their best takes in gaming. I'll put a link to Actman's video in the description so that way you can see all of the stories. Because, wow, they're really something special. Oh, will gaming kill you? I imagine this is going to be talking about this recent fascination with obsession and blaming the subjects of obsession as opposed to the, the actual underlying cause of the addiction. That would be my guess. There's this recent trend, and it's not just gaming, where things that become a subject of addiction, which is literally anything, food, porn, games, any of it, Instead of like talking about addiction itself, it's about these things should be banned because people get addicted to it. It's so weird. We've regressed so fucking much. Over the years, is Fortnite too addictive? How many games put your kids at risk of pedophiles? There's a lot of fun questions <laughs> well, for us to answer. Now, when I the answer is Roblox. Investigation. Your odds of encountering a pedophile in a video game are exponentially higher on Roblox than anything else. That shit seems like almost commonplace with how often that happens there. ...across the country, and kids have no say as to what some of these characters say to them. For example, this character could be the man in California police are warning about tonight that asked for images from Missouri children. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, whoa, Tortimer? You bastard. <laughs> I thought it was weird in Animal Crossing he kept asking for pictures of my nutsack. God damn it! Did we finally catch him? Is he behind bars? In a supermax cell? Son of a bitch! He infiltrated the cyberspace! Could be. It could be the- or it could be- could be the fucking goose on the left. Could also it could be, be anywhere. And kids have no say as to what some of these characters might say to them. For example, this could be the man police are warning about tonight who asked for pictures from Cyrodiil children. I cannot come up with any legitimate reason that an adult would be playing that particular game. No reason. No reason for an adult to play Animal Crossing. Only bad reasons. Well, you know what? That's where uh, Sheriff Popeye and I are going to have to agree. I can't think of a single reason any adult would be playing Animal Crossing. Especially when better games exist. <laughs> like Fortnite. Yeah. He's, ma he's actually making good points now. Crime alert. We abuse. <laughs> Anderson says it is going to take this parents hype. paying attention to keep this problem from exploding. Oh, you don't say. Having parents pay attention to their children and what they're doing. How dare you even suggest parenting in the modern age? You absolute harlot. You're telling people to be parents? No. That makes no sense. Just give them an iPad and unlimited access to everything online and then get mad when they find something they're not supposed to find. That's parenting. That's real parenting. When really all, all it comes back to is just parents knowing what the fuck their kids are doing. Now, yep. right now, we know that only three children have been reported as being involved in this. Anderson says this is what? not a reason to be paranoid, but is something to be aware of. While it's not a reason what, to be what? paranoid, we are involved still in what? To produce a new what did involved in sending photographs to Tortimer in in Animal Crossing? Is, is Tortimer not just an NPC? I'm pretty sure it is. Who are they sending it to? Nintendo headquarters? What are they involved in? I, I need to look up Tortimer. Is he in jail? That slimy son of a bitch. Tortimer is an elderly tortoise. 
He's he's a fucking NPC. He's the mayor in the town the player moves to. Who the fuck? What are they involved in? Is going to redefine portable handheld gaming the way iPod is redefining music. Well, stop the music. Because it's also <laughs> redefining how vulnerable your kids are to child molesters. <laughs> God! <laughs> how? Explain to me how you arrived at this point. Oh. What do you mean? We just watched about how Tor Timer from Animal Crossing was soliciting nude photos of minors through Animal Crossing. Are you not paying any attention at all, Act Man? Tor Timers, he's in the mainframe. He's in their hands right now. Nintendo DS comes with a feature called PictoChat. PictoChat? PictoChat? Oh, let me explain. You open the DS. Oh, he actually takes a dick pic on, on cam. You push PictoChat, and your DS unit is an open book. Any. Oh my goodness. Then there's no safeguards in place in order to stop you from sending a nude photo of yourself. And he just <laughs> pulls down his pants and like actually goat sees. And look what I've done with PictoChat. Now I will fall victim to a bad actor on the DS. Here's an example of what can happen. With Melanie and Marissa upstairs in the bedroom, I was downstairs sending them Picto messages. PictoChat. Oh, I don't know shit about it. PictoChat only works within 100 feet. You just gave me like a crazy idea for a horror movie that I don't know if it exists or not. Imagine you and your family, you're out, you know, in the middle of nowhere. This cabin in the woods is an escape retreat. Very cliche, very tropey. But your kid's got the PictoChat. And he's just, he's, he's, you know, you're sending dick pics, or, sorry. <laughs> you're sending, <laughs> you're sending the drawn penises to your siblings, you're giggling about it, and then all of a sudden, a new picto chat player pops up within a hundred feet. He's in the radius. He's in the house. And then it's a game of cat and mouse. They have to use picto chat to track down the pedophile, the killer. That's, that'd be hype. That'd be a movie. What's your dog's name? What's your name? Where do you go to school? Where do you live? <laughs> Fucking creep. Where do you live? What are you buying? Where do you live? In this house that I'm messaging you in? <laughs> mm -hmm. Marissa's mom was watching as Melanie and Marissa sense. answered my questions, and she didn't like what she saw. What? <laughs> uh, <Melanie laughs> what? Wait, it's the news anchor downstairs. Your, your kids know he's there. There's cameras in their face. What do you mean you don't like what they saw? What are you- he's fucking on your staircase right now! <laughs> what are you talking about? This is weird, the news anchor's wondering where I live, but he's literally sitting on my staircase. I mean, I, well, maybe he has like some kind of memory issue. Okay, I mean, I'll send it. Granted, the girls knew it was me sending the messages, but they'd only That's met me minutes before. And I could have been a child molester. <laughs> you remember Marissa chatting with her friend in the other car? That means a molester driving along could see your child in the back seat and start sending messages while what? you're in the front seat, totally oblivious to what's happening. Oh Holy shit! God. Who the fuck is driving and like trying to join picto chat lobbies? The, what the, the logistics fuck? of that alone. It, 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 make my head spin. Well, a Colorado family. That's amazing. What the fuck? Imagine a drive-by pedophile. He's got like six picto chats open for maximum potential to infiltrate nearby car picto chats. <laughs> Holy shit! A DS with porn on it. So not only did this kid experience some traumatic shit, but he probably hates Santa now. His father first called GameStop where he. That fucking pervert old Saint Nicholas. Damn you! Damn you! And they weren't caught. It's full of some real life dangers. He said, "Excuse me, health layer. Can I speak to you for a moment?" That does sound dangerous. Don't oh answer him. God. Don't it's answer him. Like nine year old kid. <laughs> He's gonna have you train rune crafting. Name is Hell Slayer. In just minutes, Timmy's password was hacked, stolen. His oh, account with fuck. all these points and belongings empty. What is that? What what up there is for 12 mil? I can't even read the item. Yeah, he fell for the old Jagex blocks your password. That's a that's a really old scam. That one actually got a few people I knew. Is it Bando's chest plate? It might be. You might be right. Yeah, that scam was uh you'd go into like I don't know, any bank really, it was pretty big in Sears Village. You go into Sears Village, you spam, Jagex blocks your password when you type it, watch this, and then you just hit like eight stars, and dumb fucking milk drinking kids would be like, oh, that's interesting, they type their password and it doesn't block it, and they're like, ah! That's what Hellslayer fell victim to for sure.
So you can see right here, I'm, I'm getting ready to serve. All Where do the pedophiles infiltrate here. the tennis court? And when I, oh, geez. <laughs> oh, and Christ. The tennis <laughs> oh, my God. Seeing all my buddies playing Pokemon and, and like my mom is the only one that's like, nope, you can't. It's dangerous, violent. Because the message is violence. Oh, this isn't actually Satanic Panic. That was, I don't know if he's going to cover that one. Satanic Panic for Pokemon was such a big one. Actually still kind of exists to this day. There is a big Facebook group about like how Pokemon is actually like devil worship because they're using energy. And energy is a force that's only meant for God to control. So like that was big back in the day. Fights and the constant trading is not only distracting kids from classwork, but turning the playground into a black market. Hey, Timmy. What do you mean a black market? It's just trading. I'll give you a Blastoise for your lunch money. I feel like. Is it a movement? It is. Is it a craze? Is it a it's state a of It's a craze for little kids to enjoy themselves with. Adults are not going to get into this a lot. I think through the holidays. <laughs> Whoa! Like you Whoa! Well, that's. Ooh! You didn't really have the future sight prowess on that one it is largely adults at the moment well you're a little off the mark on that prediction but the everything else was right psps are good clean fun right yeah so why are they also known by the name playstation pornable oh that's kind of hype actually i do remember that i do actually remember there was a time where porn was kind of big on the psp because it was one of the few times where you could just have like actual internet access on your like handheld device so you could actually just watch porn. I do remember that. We don't want to It means you might not take iron crosses all over a website as a warning sign that you should immediately leave. And if you don't leave, you might start reading and buying into hateful ideas there. The greatest danger of all may be a child predator posing as another gamer. Every oh boy. One of these, man. It's it's all the That's same. always that's always so scary. Like you never know who you're gonna run into around Varrock. That's something I often think about. When I'm grinding Slayer and I have to go back to the Grand Exchange, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Any one of these guys could be a pedophile. And that's the stress of being a gamer, honestly. Don't let anyone tell you gamers have it easy. So that's the first thing. The damage is this. We know that all the research shows that violence has a um, desensitizing effect. Well, sexuality does too. No, it doesn't. These objects of desire as these, you know, hot bodies. I mean, they don't, they don't show women as being valued for anything other than their sexuality. And it's a man in this game deciding huh? how many women he wants to be with. First of all, you Jeff. have to play as a man or a woman in the game. Cooper, have you ever played Mass Effect? No. <laughs> That's it. That's all. The, Jeff Keeley is a fucking saint. I love Jeff Keeley. God, that's that's just so hard. <laughs> I love that. So everything you're talking about, you you've played and experienced it? Absolutely not, Jeff. Ah. Okay then. It's just like modeling your life, and I think that's a much more powerful form of media. Darling, I gotta go with the research. And the research says oh. there's a new study at the University of Maryland right now that says that boys that play video games cannot tell the difference between what they're seeing in a video game and the All real right, we world. Gotta go. they... Whoa, what a claim! Who did they who did they take the research from? Who was their test subjects? They can't tell the difference between a video game and real life, huh? Also, love the condescending tone calling him darling. What an insufferable little asshole. Let's see, the University of Maryland. Well, University of Maryland. The potential for video games to improve mental health. <laughs> is, that who, is that what you were quoting? <laughs> University of Maryland. Video gaming may be associated with better cognitive function. Well, which one of these were you quoting here? Do you expect these people to actually read? No, not really. But isn't she like a, psych a psychologist? Isn't that why they brought her on? And I'm assuming she was trying to quote a real study, or I guess she truly just made it up from absolutely fucking nothing. Because I am finding nothing on that particular topic. But maybe I'm just not using the correct terms here to find it. Though even still, that seems like such a crazy study conclusion. People can't tell the difference between a video game and the real world. You would ha- Like, that is a crazy fucking claim to make. I, I don't know where the fuck this came from. But, uh, she apparently has a PhD in psychology and has published seven books. 
And in 2008, she apologized for it. She just fully admits to knowing nothing about it. Yeah, at least she owned up to it. She didn't try and double down on it again. I guess that's good. It's the highest rating that it can have. So first of all, this board that rates them needs to have their head examined. And this made me feel old <laughs> watching this. What happened to Atari and Pinball and Pac-Man? God, you are <laughs> old. You are so old. Why are we... Why is technology advancing? What happened to the good old days of Betamax? You know, why do we have streaming music? What what happened to the good old days of tube television and black and white uh, uh, TVs? This is stupid. This is fucking stupid. Why are things advancing? Why can't they stay archaic? She accidentally stumbled into a strip club on Roblox. <laughs> and that's where we're going to yeah, call it a day. That one... <laughs> Roblox is actually dangerous, though. That, like, that... The amount of fucking pedophiles that have been caught from Roblox, like real, like actual pedophiles that have preyed on kids from Roblox is fucking actually astonishing. So you know what? If they're going to run a story about like, hey, maybe monitor your kids on Roblox, I'll be like, you know what? That's fair. Yeah, that, that's fine. I actually agree. Reporting live from ACT News, this has been the Act Reporter. Good shit. Signing out. I hadn't seen Thanks. any of those stories. Way to find some gold. Good shit, Act Man. I had legitimately never seen any of those stories. I remembered a couple of the controversies, but I never actually saw the segments. Why do people keep blasting video games when they should blast other stuff? Where have you been? They blast everything. Literally everything. I saw a big Twitter thread about why it should be really frowned upon to ask your friends to help you move. Everything gets blasted. Literally anything and everything is a problem. It's, I don't know where you're getting, like, why, like, it's just games. It's everything. People make up shit to get upset about. That's just Twitter. Yeah, but Twitter is, like, everyone now. I used to think it's just Twitter, but Twitter is so big, everyone has an account, pretty much. So those people exist in the real world. Like, it's no longer just these, like, isolated cryptids that use it. It's, like, actual people. Wait, that thing about helping friends move, that was a study? What? No, fuck, no. Literally nothing people get mad about on Twitter is anything like a scientifically backed statement or anything. It was this lady melting down about, like, people who ask their friends to help them move. She called it, like, childish. She, like, you need to do it yourself. Pick yourself up by your own fucking bootstraps. Move yourself. Don't inconvenience your friends or some shit. It was so dumb. It was so fucking dumb.